You can build mobile application for your company using Viva Connections dashboard. This is the free solution that you can deploy in Microsoft Teams application for every mobile device in the organization and manage the communication across the company. In this video, I would present you how to use and how to configure Viva Connection dashboard, which is part of the Viva Connections. In the another video of this channel, I present how to set up Viva Connections in general. This is the application that allows you to bring SharePoint experience plus some additional features to Microsoft Teams. And not only Microsoft Teams in the desktop, but also Microsoft Teams in your mobile device. Thanks to that, you can build the landing app for every employee in your organization and navigate your frontline workers and office workers across the applications in your organization. And as always at this moment, I would like to ask you for some support for this channel. If you would like this video, please leave the thumbs up. If you want to get notifications about the new videos, please subscribe. And as always, if you have any additional questions, just leave the comments below. Viva Connection Dashboard will allow you to build without any development, simple application that you can deliver to desktop and mobile experience of your business users. The only thing you will need to do is to go to SharePoint and configure it. In the second part of the video, I will drill down how you can do it, what kind of web components you have to create really great experience for your employees. What is also quite important, Microsoft decide to change how Viva Connections landing page will look like. On the screen, you can see the new experience that will be deployed to every tenant using Viva Connections. And you can be a little surprised because traditional approach for the desktop users present your landing page of the SharePoint, maybe some kind of intranet portal. And for the organizations who put a lot of efforts there, that kind of change could be something that you will not look for. Thankfully, you will be able to switch that experience using PowerShell details in the description of the video. But this direction that Microsoft pushing to every organization is something worth to notice. Microsoft Viva Connections dashboard will be something to use as a homepage for your company and for your employees. It's good to know how to configure it, how to set up this kind of navigation up for your users because sooner or later this will be used for many organizations as a starting point in the Microsoft Teams. Setup is not that complex, you don't have to be developer to do that and most of the cases this will be simple app based on web parts that will navigate users to the different spaces across your company to different applications in the web or in the Microsoft Teams. I would like to focus about one element. In many companies, this component is totally not used. Organization using Viva Connection just to bring SharePoint experience to the Microsoft Teams. This is something that works very well, but I want to highlight that having unified company app for every employee could be really great value for the mobile devices. You can build the application that will navigate your employees to the payroll, to the timesheets. You don't have to develop it. You don't have to pay any money to use it. And you can bring it also to your frontline workers or to the employees that doesn't use PC in your organization. And again, what is most important this is free and available immediately. It's worth to know how to use this application. It's worth to deploy something like that and deliver it to your employees. In the few moments, we will switch to my screen, which I will show you how to configure Viva Connections dashboard. So mobile applications, company applications for your employees, which you can deploy very easily. If you will look for additional resources, check the description of the video. You will find all necessary informations there. And now we will switch to my screen. 
When you are talking about configuration of the Viva Connections dashboard, you're talking about web parts on the SharePoint page or the mobile application on the Microsoft Teams application. It could be landing page for your users, which they can open on the mobile device and get access to the components you will highlight there and get access to the additional elements that are included in your organization. You can see this is, looks quite reasonable from perspective of, from let's say simple button-based navigation for the end users. And let's see how you can configure it. Moreover, I will repeat Microsoft pushing that that kind of view will be also delivered as a part of the full desktop experience of the Viva connection. So it's good to know how to configure dashboard app. When you will navigate to your SharePoint homepage, the most important element if you will go to the settings manage Viva connections. In this place, you will be able to use Viva dashboard and configure how this application works. You can see more or less this is SharePoint page, which you can configure based on the web parts that we will have here. It's not that complicated. You can add some additional elements and you can see how this application looks in preview. So if you're testing it, you can check how this app will work on the mobile device directly from the SharePoint view. When you will close the preview, you can start to configure that dashboard for your organization. At the first step, I would recommend you to add additional thumbnail just for your end user to have something that will easy recognize. You can add additional description in here and you can start to edit the components on the page. When you're working on this mobile view for your company application, you can use multiple cards that are some kind of web parts that you can include here. You can see that you have some already predefined components that you can use. You can use Teams applications, assign tasks through To Do and Planner, approvals, Viva Insights, Viva Learning, Web Links, Top News. And these elements are some kind of Teams applications, especially also shifts. If you have frontline workers, this kind of apps could be useful for your organization. So let's start with the Top News on the top level on the screen and let's add this page for your end user as a starting point. This card will present top news for the organization and these are the news that are boosted on your SharePoint page. When you will open that kind of news, you will find boost icon on the top of navigation. The next step which we want to use to extend how our SharePoint dashboard looks like is adding additional trainings from the Viva Learning. You can see in the configuration, more or less, you have just the possibility to select the size of that icon. You can move it to the medium or large and you can filter it based on the audience. You can limit the visibility of this specific card to the selected group of users. This could be useful if you want to build dynamic Viva connection dashboard that will look a little different for the frontline workers and for the office workers. In the next step, we will add tasks to our list. So we want to present what kind of task from to do and from planner we can present for the end users. Sometimes it could be useful if you're using that in the organization. And same thing with the approvals. If you're using business processes based on the approvals in the Power Automate, this web part will allow you to present them or to send the request directly from here. These are very basic components. That's just linking for the Teams apps that maybe are used in the organization. But if your users using them, that is something worth to add here. You can also add one important element in here. You can select the Teams application from your Teams that will be implemented here as an additional web part. You can see what kind of applications do you have here. That's quite a lot of apps that are interlinked inside it. It could be champions application that are implemented in your organization or other app that is used inside your organization. If you have any kind of custom app that is deployed into your Microsoft Teams, this is the space where you can build the button that will navigate users to that location. Let's move on with the Champions app we have here. 
This is the champions application that navigates users to the champions platform with the trainings for the Microsoft 365. Another application that you can be interested in is the car designer and web links. And car designer application will allow you to create the button that will navigate users to multiple locations. So if you have multiple apps that you want to navigate users to, this is the great space to do that. Select the image that will bring also additional image to our web part. Add the large view of the cart. You can select your title. Select the icon that you want to use as a something that will be recognized as our location plus add the image that you want to be used as a background for your card. As soon as you will add the image, you can see the look and feel of your app already changed and you can select additional components. First of all, you can decide what should happen when you will click on this component. So first of all, you can go to the link to the Teams application or to the specific media. Let's stay with the link itself and you can navigate user to the specific location. It could be your landing page, it could be different place where people should start the day from. And also you can add additional buttons to your application. So you can navigate users to the most common used apps in the organization and people will have really nice looking apps up where they can click on the button and just be navigated in there. Behind there is also JSON which you can customize. This is something that could be quite useful for you, but if you want to do that without any custom development, that will be totally enough. So let's move this card a little higher and you can see on top of our news that we created earlier, add additional applications. Of course, you can customize this as you wish. So add multiple components with the specific application, describe them. This will be something that will work very well if you have very commonly used apps by your business users. Adding that kind of components in here will allow them to easily navigate there. It could be reporting the timesheets, it could be requesting the holidays and most common probably this will be some kind of business process in the web-based app. So you can navigate that person directly on the phone from the Teams component, the dashboard to the specific app on the web. And the last element I want to present that you can use is just the web link. This is something that you can create. It is very similar, but the configuration is a little simpler. You can see the configuration of the web link web part is very simple. You selecting the size, describing where user should be navigated to. You can see you have only one option in here, navigation to the specific URL. You can describe the title and description, select the background and the icon for it. That's it, it's super simple. You can also make it a little smaller, which works very well as a really nice looking button for the application that you will link in behind it. Again, this is not the rocket science to configure that kind of components, but if you have multiple apps that are used across the organization, I believe in many cases, people have no idea how to navigate to them and using bookmarks to do that. You can use SharePoint dashboard, which will be displayed in the Viva connections and navigates them. Use that as a company app that navigates users to the most common, most useful application. If you will prepare the list of the apps, I imagine that setup of the really nice looking company apps using Viva connections for the mobile devices will took probably two hour stops. Moreover, I'm showing you only the configuration without any custom coding. If you will have custom developers, you can add additional cards here. Your developers can prepare custom based application, adaptive cards based, which can be described in here and extend the look and feel of these applications. So again, take a look how the Viva connection dashboard looks on the mobile device after we update it. You can see we have these components prepared. Again, the definition I prepared here is not that complex, but if you have multiple applications, you can easily use the components 
available there to prepare nice looking app and deliver it directly to your users. Remember, you can also extend it with the custom developed app based on the adaptive cards, but standard setup should be totally enough to build centralized app to navigate your users to the all the company goodness. You can see deploying company application for mobile devices and desktop devices using Viva Connection dashboard is not that complex. You can easily create beautiful app for your employees and navigate them to the most important applications in your organization. This is one of the key features missing in many Office 365 deployment, having the space that you can easily open to found navigation to the most crucial part of your company. If you never try it, deploy this app, play with it, configure it and check with your users if they will like it. I promise this will be the app that many of them will use to start every business day. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video.